Hello Scoobies and how are you all doing? I hope you're doing fantastically fabulous and very well on this day. I know you can see into my room, but that's okay because we're not here to worry about that. We're here to talk about these books. I don't know how well you can see this because the camera's on the other side of the table. But these are modern witchcraft book of natural magic, modern guide to witchcraft, Okay, there's, uh, I'm really hoping you can see this. Um, the, this one's A Complete Guide to Witches' Covens and Spells. Witches, Covens, and Spells. Uh, your Complete Guide to Crafting and Casting Spells, Modern Witchcraft Spellbook. Okay, these are by Sky Alexander. And finally, we have The Modern Witchcraft Grimoire, A Complete Guide to Creating Your Own Book of Shadows. Each one of these books in Canada cost me $21.50. Uh, is that... Well, one of them cost me $18.99, another one cost me $18.99, and the other one cost me $22.99. What is so great about these books, and why do I like them? They're not as... Jesus, the outside world scared me. They're not as fluffy as other types of books that you would find when you're starting out on your path or when you're looking in a bookstore. They actually have some really good information in them. They're not so much a Wicca-based system. They're more just general um, types of magic. Like, if you really... Like, there's, a, there's chapter 17 in the... Modern Guide to Witchcraft, Your Complete Guide to Witches, Covens, and Spells. Chapter 17 is literally protection spells. The modern world is dangerous. Turn on the TV or read the newspaper and you'll see ongoing parade of scary scenarios, hurricanes, earthquakes, car wrecks, plane crashes, robberies, kidnappings, and murders. Disease lurks just around any corner. So these are more protection spells for... Um, just every day. I mean, there's stuff in here like a spell to release negativity. There's Guardian Angel Charm, Pet Protection Spell, Words of Power, I mean, it's a short chapter, but it's, these books are really great for new witches, and I highly suggest them because everything you could ever want is covered in them, except for herbs and stuff like that, but, like, these are, like, the basic books, right? Like, you want um, a complete, you want to know how to, how to cast your own spells? Well, there's the Modern Witchcraft spell book, A Complete Guide to Crafting and Casting Spells. These books are really well written. Um, I like the author. I haven't found anything in here that's like super fluffy or anything. Now this book, the only issue I have with this particular book is that there's only, uh, let's see, there's only roughly like maybe 49 pages of information before it starts getting into spells. Now there are, there is more information as the book goes throughout, like power of words, affirmations, chants, sigils, magic tools, uh, and accordments, pentagrams, affirmations, chalices, candles. So the things you would typically find in like a Wiccan tradition, um, or any kind of magical tradition to be honest. Spell working with spirits. God and goddess, spirit animals, angels, elementals, gnomes, sylphs, uh, eudines, salamanders, timing spells for best results. There's a whole section in here on how to time your spells. Moon magic, espets, sabbats. Um, then there's spells for all reasons and seasons, spells for love and friendship, color spells, spells to attract your soulmate, so on and so forth, right? So this is really great if you're learning how to cast your first spell. It gives you the tips, the tricks, and the resources to be able to effectively cast your magics appropriately and properly to get the best result that you want, especially if you're a new witch. This is a really good book. Um, if we look at the Modern Witchcraft Natural Magic, your guide to ca crafting charms, rituals, and spells from the natural world. This one seems to be by Judy Ann Nock. Not all of these seem to be written by the same person. This one was written by Sky Alexander. 
This one is written by Judy Ann Nock. This one is written by Sky Alexander. And the modern witchcraft grimoire, if I can turn the book around, is also written by Sky Alexander. It just seems that only one of these books out of the series is only written by Judy Ann Nock. Now, the natural magic one, I picked it up to complete the series. I haven't fully read through it. But there seems to be chapters in here about a dream is born, magic takes root, body of the goddess, uh, symbiosis between witches, herbs, wind, and breath, the rise of the god, well of emotions, earth as an entity, silver leaf and lunar tide, star magic, natural magic from the ancients, awareness, you know, stuff like that. But it mostly goes into working with oils and charms. Um, there's stuff in here about aromatherapy charms herbal charms, there's some rituals in here, spell to attune with nature above and below, the cone of power, uh, charm charging a crystal, there's a whole section on page 155 on charging a crystal, um, meditation phases of the moon to rise first, you must fall, like all of this, it's very nature based, it's very, um, you know, using what's around you in terms of nature and stuff like that. It's not about going out and buying the expensive ingredients and sitting at an expensively decorated altar and doing expensively, aesthetically pleasing witchcraft, which not all of us can afford to do because some of us are peasants. Okay, I'm very poor. <laughs> I make a lot of money, but you know how it is. When you start making money, bills start piling up. Okay, the modern guide to witchcraft, your complete guide to witches, coven, and spells. Um, I don't think I went through this one, no, because I put the other ones aside. We've got something here like sorcerers, druid magic, ceremonial magic, sex magic. Now, they're just little tidbits on this. You'd have to do further research if you're actually interested, because whole chapters aren't dedicated. It's maybe like two or three big paragraphs, and then that's it. There's stuff about the power behind magic. So if we look at, so you want to be a witch. Why is witchcraft gaining popularity today? What you'll learn from this book. Let's just kind of go over what you'll learn from this book. We're all born magical beings. A children, as children, we know this, but as we grow up, we forget our true nature. We listen to other people whose limited views cause us to doubt our innate power, and we get caught up in the stress of everyday life. As you read the pages, you'll learn to pay attention to your intuition and let it guide you. You'll gain greater appreciation of awareness of the natural world, the cycle of the moon, the energies of the seasons, your links with the animals, birds, and other creatures who share the planet with you. You'll also discover how to incorporate nature's tools, herbs, flowers, crystals, gemstones, and more into your magical workings. You'll come to realize that witchcraft and magic aren't hocus pocus. They are your birthright. And then it just goes on for another paragraph, you know, trying to sell you on what you'll learn. So, you know, mis common misconceptions about witches. Let's go through a couple of these because I find them hilarious. Witches do not steal or eat babies. Well, I do. Witches are not Satanists who sell their soul to the devil in return for special powers. Lots of witches don't even believe in Satan. He's a Christian conception. Satanists also don't sell their soul to the devil. So like that line just, it reminds me of lots of other Wicca based books where they're like, oh, witches don't do this and witches don't do that. You don't know what a witch does and what a witch doesn't do. The more fluffier versions of Wicca don't do any of this, like the working with demons, the working with spirits, the working with whatever, but the witches down here in this section of the witchy community, we do. We do work, like not all of us, but I do. Other witches work with other forms of entities and spirits and whatever, you know. So what I really don't like about this book already is its whole misconceptions. Like for example, witches don't ride brooms. I ride brooms all the time. That's an inappropriate euphemism. <laughs> you know, witches don't ride brooms, witches prefer pizza over Eye of Newt any day, witches don't inherit magical powers from mysterious ancestors. Although if grandma was a witch and trained you in the craft from childhood, you have heard you have a head start on other wannabe witches. What? That's so controversial to say. You have a head start. So naturally, like, witches whose grandmother or mother taught them how to be a witch have a head start on other wannabe witches? That's a really controversial thing to put in your book. 
Not all witches possess remarkable psychic powers, nor do they have the gift of prophecy. Some psychics may be witches, and many witches develop their intuition through practice, but truth is everyone has a psychic ability, including you. Witches don't consort with or battle demons, vampires, zombies, or other monsters. They have better things to do. That's a very Wiccan thing to say. And like I did say, these books are... They're not totally Wicca. But they are in that Wiccan space. You know, like when you go to a bookstore and you buy a book on witchcraft, it's geared towards people who want to get into the craft, and people who are interested in the craft, and people who are new to the craft, and it's very... It is somewhat fluffy, and it is somewhat Wicca-based. Um, these books, though, if you can get past this whole misconception about witches, I really like them. My favorite subjects to learn about in witchcraft, regardless of path, how do you craft a spell? How do you do a ritual? How do you keep a book of shadows? Those are my three most favorite subjects, and I have entire books on them. Okay. Um, let's continue going through this list. Not all witches... Oh, wait, we already did that. So, the consorting with or battling of demons. Nobody really battles, you know, entities. Like, this isn't Buffy, this isn't Charm. They don't just show up and I go boom and they explode and I win and the elders are happy. Like, none of that is real. Um, however, I do consort with demons and I am a witch, so this line is completely inappropriate. There are witches who consort with the dead, who talk with, communicate, and that's, one of, that's another thing that I do as well. There are witches who work with entities that... These types of books would say you're not supposed to or that we don't work with, so that's... This line, witches don't consort with or battle demons, the battle part is true, but the consort with is a misconception, because we do consort with demons. Some of us do. Not all of us, but some of us. Not all witches worship ancient gods or goddesses. Some don't believe in any type of deity. Witches aren't immortal. I don't know about you, but I'm immortal. Um, <laughs> They live ordinary lifespans just like any other humans. Witches aren't ugly old hags. They can be young and incredibly beautiful, but most of them are just average people like you and me. Well, I'm an ugly old hag, okay? Um, witches don't engage in rivalries or conflicts with other magical practitioners. Have you seen social media? <laughs> The witches in Salem, Massachusetts, for example, don't have a long-standing rivalry with the New Orleans voodoo priestesses. Trust me on this, I've been a witch for 25 years and lived in Salem for eight, and I get along with people from New Orleans just fine. This one was written by Sky Alexander, and aside from this common misconceptions about witches section, like, the rest of it is fine. Um, it is a little fluffy, but it's not something that would completely turn you off. There's stuff in here like love spells, spells to get noticed, spells to attract a new lover, magical bomb to heal a broken heart, spell to rev up your sex life, amulet to block unwanted attention, adapting spells. There's a whole section in here on adapting spells. At times you might want to adapt a spell to suit your specific needs, but where do you begin the process? Although adapting spells is far easier than creating one, it still requires some forethought. When examining a spell, look at the continuity and comprehensiveness. Ask yourself these questions, and then there's some questions, and so on and so forth. There's spells for success, stuff like that. So I really do like these books, even if they come off as a little bit fluffy. The last book to go through in this series of books is The Modern Witchcraft Grimoire, Your Complete Guide to Creating Your Own Book of Shadows by Sky Alexander. So this is one of my favorite subjects to read about, learn about, absorb everything I can about, um, is Book of Shadows. I love them. So there's sections in here on like why create a grimoire, crafting your grimoire, organizing your grimoire. I don't really organize my grimoire, I just put a new entry in after the last entry. Like there's no organization in my book. Um, what to include in your grimoire, preparing to use your grimoire, using your grimoire, everyday magic, special occasion spells, solar spells, lunar spells. So 15 to 75 is about creating your book of shadows and then 75 to 273, which is chapter 20, is just a bunch of different spells and stuff like that. So, 
my opinion, my final opinion of these four beautiful hardcover books that you can buy either on Amazon or at your local bookstore or whatever, my opinion on them is that they are well worth the read even if they are a bit fluffy. I haven't read everything in all of these books. I have skimmed through some sections. Um, some books I've got tags. I don't know if you can see the, the little tags on there. I don't know what you can see. But I've got tags on these on certain pages. So if we open to one, there's a tag on love spells. If we open to another one, there's a tag on the seasons of the witch. Uh, let's open up to another one. We've got ceremonial magic. Open up to another one. What's this one all about? Hedge witches and kitchen witches. And if we open up to the very first tag that I have in here, it is on intention is everything. It says it right there. I don't know if you can see that, but it says it right there. So, would I recommend you buying these books as a new beginner witch or even an existing practicing witch? Absolutely. You're going to find that the Witch's Coven and Spells book is actually shorter in length or height if you're standing them up like this. It's actually shorter than the other books um, by a little bit but the other books are just as good. These are all the modern guide, um, the modern witchcraft, the modern this, the modern that. I highly suggest you pick these books up if you are new. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong, especially if you're wanting to learn about casting spells, creating books of shadows, different types of tools. They're not as comprehensive as the Bucklands book, I will admit. They're not gonna teach you everything, but they are an amazing, first step. Okay, so now that we've covered that and we've covered everything else and we're praying and burping, we're praying to the YouTubian gods, please don't demonetize this video, please don't demonetize, give me my panties, give me my panties, I need my panties, la 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 la, that's my song. <laughs> I'm trying to appease the YouTube gods, okay? And you have to, you have to do all kinds of crazy things to appease them. But I hope that you guys liked this video. I've never really done a book review and I was thinking, well, I don't just want to review one of these books. I want to review all four of them because there are four books in this series. Now, I don't know if it says in the front page, it doesn't. I don't think there's anything in these books that say that they are correlated to each other. Um, no, it doesn't say anything about these books being related to each other. However, they all start with the modern witchcraft or the modern guide or the modern whatever. Pick them up, give them a good read. I would love to know what your thoughts are of these books, if you have them, if you've read them, if you have not. Um, the Witchy Shows Book Club says you gotta go out and get all four of these. <laughs> At least if you're gonna if you're gonna start with one, because I don't know what the prices would be like in America, I would probably start with a modern guide to witchcraft, your complete guide to witches, covens, and spells, and then I would go on to the modern witchcraft guide to the Grim War. Um, and then natural magic you could skip. It's very earth-based, very uh, new agey in its approach, but I needed to have all of them. <laughs> um, the modern uh, witchcraft spell book, your complete guide to crafting and casting spells, would probably be the one I would get after the grimoire one, and then I would end off with the nature-based magic, which is what I think I did. So. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and got something out of it. Bye.